Good morning, YouTube friends. I have not done anything to my face or my hair yet, so don't mind me. But I wanted to show you guys, a lot of you, many of you, if you're new subscribers, maybe you have not, have watched my How to Stop Bloating video. If you have not, and if bloating or uh, stomach inflammation is something that you struggle with, I highly encourage you to go back and watch that video. I share a ton of tips and strategies and things that I've used to uh, combat stomach inflammation, bloating, and um, struggling with digestion or different food intolerances over the years. So definitely go ahead and go back and check that video out if you have not already. If you are a new subscriber, Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and watching another one of my videos. I love you guys, all of you, and I'm so happy that you're here. I wanted to share with you guys how I am starting my morning. Before I head to the gym today, you guys probably remember both of these things from my How to Stop Bloating video. I am going to do four ounces of aloe vera juice. This is a different one than I showed you in the How to Stop Bloating video. I recently discovered this brand. This brand is called George's and it's 100% aloe vera. It's bitter free, no unpleasant taste and that's what I really really like about this brand. A lot of times aloe vera juice has a little bit of a kind of a different taste. You want to get the non from concentrate because there are no added sugars or carbs. You can see here in eight whole ounces there's less than a single carb but this George's brand essentially just tastes like water so I really like this kind. Also one her probiotic this is from NLA for her so I take one of these her probiotics and then I get the day started and if you guys are wondering this gel polish that I'm sort of obsessed with right now is called Miracle Mauve I love it what's up if I have not told you lately I love y'all what's up <laughs> that creeper Josh behind me <laughs> we are here at Metroplex in Long Beach about to train some shoulders it is like a super gloomy day out today but you got a badass gym though yeah we are at a badass gym and there's just like so much to be grateful for you guys when you stop adding up your troubles and start counting your blessings instead your whole life will change mindset ready to crush this workout let's do it, let's do it. depending on what we were doing. I hope that you guys enjoyed that workout footage. It was Josh's birthday a couple weeks ago, but we both have been super busy and traveling and have not had a chance to give him his birthday present yet. You're too busy so for you to your app. Never. Too busy. <laughs> so, like, open it? so he's gonna open it now. Something to 
stimulate his brain. Comment below, comment below if you guys have read this book. It's incredible, the power of habit. And that's why you hang out with people that are in the same mindset as you, because they give you stuff like that. And Josh mo just moved into yes, a new apartment. I just told, told RJ I needed a new can so a candle. So he needs God. a new candle for his apartment so I'm that it smells a, good. I'm kind of a girly girl. Right? No, smell it. It smells uh, like it's really good. Is the same one? <laughs> you got the same one? Yeah. Yeah, that same candle? Body work? Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Oh my God. It smells, it smells good, right? It smells like Show YouTube uh, the candle. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Oh my God, it smells amazing. I got this from um, oh, Bath and Body Works. And the the scent is black teak wood. Oh, Tony already knows it. Tony, just, Tony already <laughs> He's like, I got the same candle. A magnet for oh, his fridge. So, this is, this is so says, life isn't about like finding this. yourself, life is about creating yourself. And of course, Sour Patch. I'm about to eat some of these right now. All right, so I can't get enough, and I'm like five weeks out, so I just want to keep training. I'm feeling really good, so I'm going to finish up a full body workout with these two, Andrina and Kaz. We're going to finish up just like a little bit of full body, hit a few different body parts, so I'll take you guys along with me. my Valentine, Miss Emily Duncan. We decided that we were going to be each other's Valentines this yes. year. So I'm so excited. I have one thing for her already in the car, but I needed to pick up a couple more things. I really think this card is just absolutely so perfect. <laughs> what Valentine doesn't like a giant Reese's heart? And she is a new dog mommy. So I had to get something for Luna and some colored pencils. I got her a 365 day stress relief coloring book. I'm still waiting for somebody to send me one of these. I really want one guys. <laughs> for reference here. Yes, I am that girl at the grocery store doing this right now. <laughs> So you guys can see this is the 365 day ways to fight daily stress art coloring and wisdom to lift your spirit coloring book so each day has like something different that you can color and 365 mindfulness type quotes where there is clarity and wisdom there is neither fear nor ignorance so just like really cute uplifting quotes and some coloring oh and it's not Valentine's Day without these conversation hearts. Happy Valentine's Day, y'all. What's up, guys? So it's been quite a while since I've done sort of a sit-down talk, and I've been getting a lot of questions recently about advice for first-time competitors. And so I felt like if there was any time, now was the time to really address that issue with you guys. I know a lot of you guys that may watch my channel either may be new to competing, may have never competed, but may be considering it, or maybe competing isn't in your plans at all, and that's totally fine because I think what I'm about to share with you is something that, regardless of whether you compete or not, is hopefully something that you will find valuable and something that you can apply to your life and relate to. Now, if I were to list out all of my advice for first-time competitors, I could be sitting here all day talking to you guys. But there are certain things that always hold true. No matter what, no matter when I'm asked, these are the things that I feel are so important and can't go left without saying. This is something that I feel like you can apply and relate to whether competing is part of your fitness journey or not, and that is make sure that you are doing it for you. And the reason why I say that because this journey is not always going to be easy. You are going to encounter people that think that your dedication and what you're doing and that your goals are weird and bizarre and they might not support you and support your goals. 
But at the end of the day, you have to remember that this journey is for you and for you alone. You don't need validation from somebody else to continue on your journey. As long as you're doing what you're doing for you and it makes you happy, it brings you joy, it makes you feel alive, that's what matters at the end of the day. I truly find that regardless of what decisions you make in life, what path you choose in life, there's always going to be naysayers. There's always going to be people that doubt you. There's always going to be people that don't agree with the decisions that you make and the choices that you make and the path that you choose. And that's okay because this is your journey. This journey is not for them, it is for you. And so that's why you need to protect it. You need to protect anything that makes your heart beat a little bit faster, that makes you feel alive. I'm sorry, this is just something that I am so incredibly passionate about. And I've seen far too many people give up on their dreams and give up on their goals because of the opinions of others, because of the expectations that are surrounding them. And honestly, if I, I'm getting the chills. <laughs> Honestly, I would not be where I am today if I let the expectations of everybody around me dictate the path that I choose and who I become. I would not be the woman that I am today. I would not be sitting here in front of this camera talking to you. I know it can be challenging to pursue anything when you feel like maybe you're lacking support or you're being judged by those around you. But I promise you that if you stay true to you and you pursue whatever it is you are passionate about, as long as it is driven by heart and by soul and you stay dedicated to it, the right people will either come into your life and support you or those people that doubt you and are maybe the naysayers now will look at you and say, Wow, I can't believe I doubted. And those naysayers will be the ones coming to you eventually asking you for advice. So don't quit on anything that you truly want out of life. I've lost friends along the way. There have been times in my journey where I have felt so alone. Luckily, I've been blessed to have the support of my family and they are my biggest cheerleaders and have encouraged me and believed in me and supported all of the decisions that I've made every step of the way. That is a blessing and something I know not everybody has. But when it comes to friendships, heck yeah, I've lost a lot of those along the way. Whether that be due to interests changing and just people taking different courses throughout their lives, it happens. But there were times where I felt very, very alone. And I know you guys have probably watched these last few videos and have seen me in, you know, a large group of really great supportive friends and maybe been thinking to yourself, man, I wish I had some friends like that to hang out with that did the same things that I did, were interested in the same things that I do and supported me the way that I see in, that you guys see in my videos. And I'm here telling you that I did not always have that. Rewind to about two years ago when I first moved out to California. I knew no one, one person. I knew one person when I moved out here. I didn't have this group of friends that I have now, but you know what? I stayed true to myself and to the things that were important to me, and I stayed true to my passion and what I felt was my purpose, and those people that I have now in my life, they came into my life, and they came in at the right time. And so I encourage you, if you're feeling alone right now, don't give up. Keep doing whatever it is you're doing and pursuing whatever it is you are passionate about. Love yourself and your journey every step of the way and those right people that support you will come into your life at the right time. So yeah, I could sit here and give you a laundry list of things that you should do if you are just beginning your fitness journey or you are just considering competing for the first time and you're a new competitor, I could give you a whole list of things. Uh, stick to your diet, challenge yourself in your training, watch a bajillion YouTube videos from people that have already been on their fitness journeys and study your posing routine and hire a coach that's knowledgeable and has certifications and isn't going to provide you with a cookie cutter diet and do not eat lists and that's something we'll touch on in another video because that's also something I'm very incredibly passionate about. At the end of the day, I think the most, but at the end of the day, I think the most important and the most valuable thing 
that I want you guys to get out of this and that I want to share with you is how important it is to just stay true to yourself. In a world that's constantly pushing us to compare ourselves, to change us, to be something else that maybe we're not, I think the most beautiful thing that we can do is to be the best version of ourselves. Don't quit on your dreams, don't quit on your goals, don't quit on anything that you're passionate about. I am a firm, firm believer that as long as you are passionate about whatever it is you're doing, it may be challenging in the beginning, but success will always follow. Passion comes first, success comes after. I love this community that we have here on YouTube because we can support one another. And I want you guys to know that are all watching my channel right now, how much I appreciate all of your guys' support. And although it's me on the other side of the screen talking to you, I support all of you guys too. I am here for you and I want you guys to know that. If there's things that I can do and questions that I can answer, I try to do that as best as I can when you guys leave me comments and questions below because at the end of the day, we're all in this together. I appreciate you guys so, so much for being a part of this journey with me and for allowing me to share your journey with you. It means the world to me. I hope that you guys find this message valuable and I hope, if anything, it inspires you to stay your course to keep pushing and pursuing your passion and your dreams, to take advantage of each and every opportunity and day that you have to be you, to be the best versions of you. The world doesn't need more copycats. The world needs you, just your best version of yourself, living your dreams and your passion. Now before I end the video, I wanna say thank you guys again so much for being here, and I want to end this video with a giveaway because I woke up this morning to 10K subscribers. My YouTube journey is fairly new, but you guys have been so incredibly supportive and so amazing. You guys inspire me to keep going and keep putting out content, and I am just so happy by the amount of love and the amount of support that we're able to share together here. And so thank you to you guys who have been here with me from the beginning. Thank you to you guys who are new here to my channel. I love all of you and appreciate you all so much. To say thank you and to celebrate that 10K subscriber mark, I'm going to end this video with a giveaway. To stay on the topic of staying true to you, silencing those naysayers and the expectations of others and just pursuing whatever it is that makes your heart feel alive, whatever it is you're passionate about, for this giveaway, what I want you to do is just leave a comment below with one thing that you're passionate about and why that's something you're passionate about. It can be anything. It doesn't have to be fitness related. Just share one thing, one passion of yours and why that's a passion for you. And I'll be choosing three people by the end of this week at random to win a few select goodies. The first one is going to be a bodybuilding.com gift card for $50 that you can spend on anything you want on bodybuilding.com. The second one will be a free copy of my ebook once that is available as soon as it launches. And the third person will be receiving three products of your choice, whatever you want, from NLA for her. So if you guys want to participate in the giveaway, just leave those comments below. And like I said, I will be choosing the winners by the end of this week. Again, thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for being here. I love y'all so much and I will catch you in the next video.